Hello everybody, Happy New Year and welcome back to the first video of 2021 from On Point HQ. Hope everyone's doing well and having a good start to the year so far. So, I thought I would do my first video of the year on what I'm going to be working on for the next couple of weeks. So at the back end of December, I thought, right, New Year, I need a new project. Uh, it was always going to be something bolt action related and something I've not really worked on. I really wanted to try something new. Um, my quest is to still get my Germans to 10,000 points by the end of the year. Um, but I wanted something to work on in the meantime. I've got a small, a smaller project, about around about 1,000 points or so. Um, but I didn't, I didn't really quite know which way to go. So I looked through different, different army books, uh, watched a few videos, and um, did a bit of research. And I came up with one that really, really interested me. So I did my shopping and I came up with this. So this is the, um, let me try and get that in shot there. That's really, really poor camera work from the, from the outside. I do apologize. This is the um, British Airborne uh, plastic box from Warlord Games. So we get 30 figures in there. Um, so I saw this and I looked at the figures and thought, you know what, I really, I like the look at this. There's good scope here for what I want to do. Now I was going through the um, the Market Garden campaign book and um, I found you can take um, Polish uh, Airborne Brigade in there. And I thought that's a bit different. Now I've seen a bridge too far, you know, more times than I care to remember. <laughs> but I think it'd just be something a little bit, a little bit different um, to, to just standard uh, British Airborne. So I'm going to be doing these as Polish uh, Airborne Brigade. So what I thought I'd do, very, very short video on what I'm, I've done some test figures, obviously I'm going to show you them what I've, what I've been doing because I'm not a fan of painting camouflage and this was a bit of a challenge to me. Um, so I want to get your opinion on on what you think of, of how I've managed it or what, what I've achieved. Um, like a, a lot of my projects though, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of kit bashing, a lot of conversion, um, conversions for these guys. Because the aim I'm looking for is middle of combat, you know, real straight in the middle of combat, um, sleeves rolled up, um, you know, different using German equipment um, on, on some of the figures. A real bunch of, it's sort of, sort of veterans in the, in the middle of a firefight uh, during Market Garden. Um, so that's what I've been up to. So that's the sort of the the plan um, for for the project is going to be. Um, it's going to be largely infantry based. So there's going to be no no tanks or armored cars. Um, I might even throw the odd partisan squad in there if I'm feeling particularly fruity. Uh, but okay, let's chat. Let's have a look at these figures. So what I'm going to do is mess with the camera and show you exactly what I've done. So I'll start from this this side here. So this is the um, this is the NCL. So as you can see, uh, it was the first one I built, and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. He has got a an MP40, a German MP40, or it's an MP42. It could be um, captured in the middle of battle. It's actually the arms from the uh, plastic Falschmeger box by Warlord Games. Um, as you can see, he's got the blue beret on there, which is indicative of the uh, the, the Polish air bomb. I've yet to add the decals. Um, I'm going to do that at the at the end. But I'm going for seven man squads. I don't I don't want full strength squads. I want them to be under strength. Um, as as it's sort of you know to depict sort of scattered troops, not 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 all with the same section. Sort of ad hoc, hastily put together squads. I think that's going to be have a nice look to it. Uh, so this guy here is a rifleman. Now what you'll notice is he's got his he's got his sleeves rolled up. Now his arms are actually from. Um, the British Commonwealth Infantry Box again. There we go. Really bad camera work again. Sorry. Um, I love that box. The, the 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 bits and pieces fit together so well with other figures. So what I've used to give him that sort of sleeves rolled up in the middle of a, a fight. Do I just use some arms from that um that box and they fit perfectly. So we got this guy here. Nice moustache. Um, he's busy looking through his binoculars. There we go. And then we've got this poor injured chap here. Now the way he, he the, the last two were standard uh, from the box. What I've done is his, his left arm's normally holding a sniper rifle, but I carefully cut away the scope 
um, just to turn it into a, a standard rifle. Um, gave him a bit of a saw head there, and then the the, the right arm just resting or going into his into his ammo pouch. So look at the the reverse here. So as you can see, the camouflage. Um, I'm quite happy with it. I say I'm not really a, a big camouflage painter because I'm not very good at it, <laughs> so I tend to avoid it. Um, but I did a bit of research, and I think it's come out okay. I mean, from three feet away, it'll look fine. But I did really want to make an effort um, with with the the jump smocks for these guys. I think you can see it better on the guy at the end because he's more open, so you can see the colours I've used. If anyone's interested. Uh, I used um, the Royal Vallejo colours, and it's Vallejo uh, Middle Stone as the base, uh, bronze green for the, the green, and saddle brown. Um, they were then given a good old wash of Agrax Earthshade. Give it that deep, rich shadow, and then all I just did was I added um, just a blob of um, ivory, or no, it wasn't, it was pale grey and sunny skin tone. Um, to the original colour and just did some basic highlights. But that's the four, that's the test figures. As you can see the bases as well. Gone a bit over the top with them. <laughs> that's cork board and clump fogs and static grass. So they're my test figures just to see, get the, the colour scheme down. I'm really quite happy with how these have turned out. Um, a bit more work put into them than I would normally do for infantry figures in bolt action but it's going to be a smaller project, so I think it's it's worth it. Now, what I also wanted to show you is something I've been working on uh, this afternoon, and it's just a, a sort of an example of combining these two kits and how, how they can really work. So we've got the the head and the body from the the plastic airborne box, but the the arms there are from the British Commonwealth box, which is set in the desert or in you can at a push even in Italy, I suppose. Um, this is the light mortar arm carrying the mortars and the rifle slung over his shoulder. This is actually going to be um, the loader for a Piat team. Um, but I just wanted to show you it to demonstrate this is what I'm aiming for. Very, very simple kit bashes and very simple conversions like this really create unique looking figures. And for me, the sleeves rolled up give them a more a sort of a, a more natural look. I mean, if you're in the middle of combat and you have your sleeves rolled up. so. It's it just gives me that the sort of individual look that I like to have for all my bolt action projects. Well, that's it. Very quick update. Um, first video of the year, and just to say what I'm going to be up to for the next couple of weeks when I, grab, when I can grab some time to paint. It's going to be Polish Airborne Brigade. We've got any comments or questions um, about these or bolt action or gaming in general uh, just leave them down below and i'll certainly respond to all comments and questions uh, but as always thanks for watching do take care may your dice roll well and i'll catch you all in the next video so bye bye for now